It's Zach with Four Inches of Freedom, and today I'm joined by Houston, the problem ski back ahead of his LFA debut at LFA 192, where he faces a Puni Pegoa on September 13th. How's it going today, Houston? It's going well, man. How you doing, Zach? Can't complain. You know, the last time we talked, you were about to make your pro debut. Since then, you not only won that fight, you came back another time and you got your first finish as well. Kurt, so that makes you obviously 2-0 and in your pro career. We, we can count 1-2 and two together. That, yeah. But, you know, and a win here takes you to 3-0. and but more importantly, if you take your whole career, that makes you 10-0 across yeah. MMA as a whole. And I'm just curious, you know, I don't want to keep throwing like facts, like, hey, you're undefeated, this, that, and the other. But does that oh, just fight after fight after fight? Uh, I mean, sorry, you cut out a little bit, but were you asking if that oh like, affects me leading into fights or anything? Like, holding on to that? Pretty much. Like, is that anything? Yeah. That, like, do you hold that to, like, a, 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 on a pedestal of any kind, or is it just, like, a nice to have? No, not at all. Man. <laughs> I came from wrestling, man. Like I lost like every weekend wrestling. So I don't think of myself as undefeated. Uh, I This is like the best win streak I've ever gone on in my career doing anything. So I'm, I'm riding it right now. But like it's it's, you know, things are bound to change. I'm not like set on being Khabib with my career. I know people lose. Uh, but I mean, I have no intentions to ever lose. And I if you put me in the cage, I'm trying to win every second of every fight. So as far as like keeping the zero, that's not what where the pressure comes from. It's just I want to win every single fight. So definitely want to keep it. But and I know it makes sense because, you know, looking at to take that O is a Puni Pagoa, a four and two flyweight who has spent his entire career under the LFA banner. So you're obviously coming in as like the out of I don't want to say out of town or the out of towner, yeah. the out of promotion, the out of. The, the, the B side coming in, but you're yeah, going to make okay. it the A side. Um, what do you know about your opponent? How do you feel you match up? Yeah, so, I mean, it seems like he's got good boxing, good footwork, good takedown defense. So, it's going to be a tough stylistic matchup. I think definitely on paper this is my toughest fight so far, uh, including amateurs. I mean, you would hope your professional fights are tougher than your amateur fights, obviously. But, like, it's going to be a tough fight. I expect it to kind of come down to the wire a little bit. I mean, I still believe I'm going to be able to get the finish. But, uh, yeah, no, coming in, first fight in LFA, I just want to make a statement. I just want to get a finish. I just want to win the fight. I just want to be impressive. I want it to be entertaining. I got a lot of plans for this one, but it's definitely going to be an entertaining fight. I got that much. Uh, I could guarantee that. You kind of mentioned your opponent has been a, a staple of LFA. You kind of built your pro career so far under the A1 banner. How did it come across that you were going to make an LFA debut instead of, like, the A1 combat show? Yeah, so, I mean, it was just kind of out of nowhere. I was uh, just kind of between fights, you know, not planning on taking any fights. I work outside of training, so I was just working, coming into the gym, and uh, my coach, Sonny, offered me uh, September 13th for LFA. Uh, the next day, like, we heard back from them with the fight offer, and then I think the day after that, they sent us a contract, and... I was like, this looks good. It's in Santa Cruz. It's local. So I, I was pretty excited about it. But uh, no grand plan behind it. Just kind of just kind of happened pretty much. And it's the glories of regional MMA when you're in an area that has sure. more than one promotion within driving range and so on. Uh, yeah. I know here in PA, we have a few that you could drive up to four hours and hit about eight different promotions. It's just who do you want to fight for and who has the best offer coming in? Yeah. Um, you know, and touching back on A1 combat a week prior, there is a card. And your teammates fighting for the vacant flyweight title. How, how has it been with like you know both being in the gym, him going for a title, you making a debut at a new promotion? Uh, how's the gym life been so far? Yeah, no, I, everything's been great at the gym. Everybody's looking solid. We got Terrence fighting on the sixth for A one. Uh, he's finally going to get that belt for the first time as a pro. Uh, that's going to be a big moment for him. Big moment for the gym as well. Uh, I mean, our team deserves it. Like Coach Sonny, he's been putting in a ton of work for us. Uh, this will be the first, like, especially big promotion that's streamed on Fight Pass and everything internationally. Like, it's going to be a big moment for our team. Big moment for Terrence. Uh, he's been looking really solid. We're really good training partners, uh, especially like uh, body type and style wise for each other's opponents too. So like, I feel like everything's coming together really well, uh, especially late stages of camp right now, back half of camp. Uh, yeah, he's looking great. I'm feeling great. We also got our guy, Andrew fighting in Chicago uh, the day after Terrence uh, on the seventh, he's fighting for an 85 pound title, uh, Andrew Priolo. 
so yeah no we got a lot of stuff coming up and everybody's looking really good at the gym man and with terrence fighting for the title like how does that change things on your end too so if he's the champion obviously you want to grow in the sport but you're not going to fight your teammate especially at the regional level not yet alone at the bigger level so like does that i don't want to say limit you but have you guys discussed that yet like what happens when he wins yeah i mean the I, i don't think it'll play into effect at all like like you said, at the regional level, I don't think that's going to really be a concern. Uh, we're definitely not fighting each other for, you know, I mean, I don't think we're going to fight each other regardless, but, but, you know, there's absolutely no way we're fighting, you know, on the regional level coming up like that. But like, I guess it does, you know, limit if he wants to defend that belt at A1, you know, maybe I stay outside of A1. Uh, but as far as that goes, like a, not too big of concerns. I think regardless whatever happens with this fight terrence has bigger and better things coming up for him as well so i don't think that's going to be too much of a concern the fight game is one thing you have a whole other challenge coming your way yeah. two months after the fight uh you know you recently announced on like, instagram that you and your lady are expecting your first child a daughter uh how, how has that impacted like, your preparation on him for the fight but for the next stage in life as well like yeah no it's i mean it's been really good so far like uh surprisingly like uh we're both working you know uh, i'm fighting i'm not always home all the time that could be a struggle but like we've been getting along really well she's been feeling really well uh both of our families are super supportive about it uh my team's been super supportive at train for life everybody's been like behind our backs and uh it just feels good it feels positive feels like it's the right timing in our lives uh we've both always wanted to be parents so couldn't come at a better time just you know it's gonna be scary it's gonna be a new experience but it kind of takes a lot of pressure off like as far as fighting goes too like i think about her way more often than i think about you know getting hurt getting beat up anything like that i i'm always thinking about you know how i'm gonna end up taking care of this baby you know looking at them preparing the questions for this when I went through that, which is now like 14, 15 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I was a, I wasn't working. I was like the worst, like potential upcoming dad. And uh, I was going through that, but I was like, man, I was like, you know, being a fighter though, you, you're used to the, the anxiety and the nerves kicking in because yeah. like as prepared as you are, like before you walk out, you're about to get punched in the face. Yeah, no, it's, it's terrifying, man. I won't lie about that. <laughs> so, I mean, like, she she's she might hit you in the face, but it might not be as hard as yeah, right. what what you get hit in and you know the unexpectedness of like what comes in the cage. So like, do you think that the the fight game has prepared you for the next step in life as well? Yeah, I think I, like anything you do that deals with anxiety and like adrenaline and all that like uh, pressure uh, emotions, especially like that's something you have to have in check as a parent. Uh, I think it absolutely helps a lot. I think. A lot of jobs I've had have helped out. Uh, yeah, no, but fighting definitely is a big help. Uh, hopefully, at least. I can't speak too soon, but I think it'll at least, you know, uh, dole down some of the, the like, uh, I don't know what word, apprehensions you could have, like, going into it. But I'm not super scared about it. I'm just, I mean, I'm scared, but it's a good scared. That, that's how I could describe parenting right now. And, you know, before that next day up in life, you have your fight against a poonie. On Friday the 13th, September 13th, Santa Cruz, California. Currently, you're listed as the prelim, so it'll be on YouTube. Everyone can access it. There's no fight pass paywall. There's nothing that's YouTube. Everyone should be tuning in for it then. It's free. If you don't have pre- YouTube premium, you'll have some ads on occasion. But, you know, free free fights, no one can complain about free fights. And especially when this, you know, prepares you for, you know, a new promotion, promotion who's sending tons of people to like the next stage be it you know contender series direct signing and so on i want to pass the mic to you ahead of the fight you obviously have teammates that are helping you train sponsors that are helping you kind of fund whatever you can ahead of the fight pat pass the mic to you to kind of shout everyone out and we'll wrap it up afterwards mike's all yours yeah of course no uh definitely want to shout out my my sponsor for this fight coming up panoscopic at panoscopic uniforms and product panoscopic productions uh they're going above and beyond for this fight uh, i also want to thank like some of my old sponsors that i mean i i feel like i haven't shouted them out enough obviously i was looking at some of like my old fight shorts uh 
KC Engineering was a company that's been with me since day, literally day one. Uh, I used to work for them back in the day out in Vacaville. So KC Engineering Company, big shout out to them. They've always been by my side uh, since my first amateur fight and even before that. Uh, I, know, I remember Elevate Constructions, Sequoia Real Estate, uh, La Cole Arena, Cheddar Maids, uh, let's see, Fight Like Our Kids, WK Foundation, Serronio Martial Arts, uh, all our affiliate schools, uh, Sabre BJJ, uh, Freshly Rooted. I, I got a bunch of sponsors that have helped me out in the past. Couldn't be thankful enough for them. And uh, my teammates, Terrence, Coach Sonny, uh, my brother Hayden, uh, everybody who's helped me along the way in this fight camp especially, uh, helped get me sharp for this one. Really can't thank these people enough. And, you know, the, the teammates have obviously shown 10th fight in MMA unscathed so far. We're going to be unscathed on the September 14th as well, the day after the fight. Uh, you know, what's the best of skill to you? And, you know, kick some ass in this fight. It's a, a great uh, position to be in and obviously a great promotion to grow with as well. So I look forward to watching it. Best of skill. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate your time. And, yeah, looking forward to the fight.